Hello, Bardians. It's Celery. And today, we're gonna look over- I'm with- I'm with Mia. Say hi, Mia. Hello. Hi in the chat. I'm with Mia, also Guns and Buns. She's my- my girlfriend. We're gonna- If you don't remember that- you remember this video? 37. About 36 and a half meters is a range drop off for this gun. Ace has more range, so Ace should still hit for 60. Oh, Ace still with, did a bit of damage drop off. Look at that. And that's because of range finder. Ace normally crits for 70. I posted this video a little bit ago, kind of showing my max range spare rations. This is the spare rations that had the big four perks that everybody wanted. It had full bore, ricochet rounds, Rangefinder and range matchwork. Subsistence was perfectly fine for me. It was rapid hit would be better, but subsistence worked just fine. And it's it was buffed anyway, so Yeah. Subsistence. Is that that's different than substance? Yeah, it's weird. Subsistence. Never really heard that word till Destiny. So I wanna do a quick little comparison of the previous ranges. So in the old video, if you watched Hand cannon, this particular hand cannon had a range drop off at 36 meters. So, I'm gonna go 36 meters out. 36 meters. At 36 meters, my spare rations was able to headshot for max damage on a 150, which was 68. I'm at the same range as I was in that video. Let's see what it hits for now. 52. That's a pretty substantial range drop off. What is that, 16? So that's a, that's a 16 damage range drop off. Before I could three tap. So it still requires four exact headshots to kill from 36 meters away. Now that is when the range dropped off before. Like at this point, I would crit for 68 max damage. All right, Mia's back, let's see. Yeah, 30, at that spot, she's a little closer, 35 meters. So 36 meters. 51. Let's see. Let's see what the actual drop off is. That's Yeah, about 28 and a half meters. 58. 28 meters is my maximum range on this gun. What was it before? 36? So that's 8 meters. So they reduced the range on this gun by 8 meters. Now if I go past even farther than 36 meters, go 40 meters. 40 damage. That's like a freaking 5 shot, 6 shot. 45 meters. 27s. So the, the farther out you go, like the more substantial the range drop off. And I'm pretty sure my gun before still could like do a pretty high amount of damage. So I think I show Ace in the video. Ace, this my my Sparations had more range than Ace, even though Ace has more range on the, on the actual stat. I believe my Sparations had more simply because of range finder. So let's take the Darcy off. I'm sitting at, let's we'll see what I'm sitting at. 35 meters. 52. Wow. 47 on Ace. I haven't moved. If, what was this? 35 meters, Ace is critting for 47. Ace used to be the king. Those guns critting for 47 at that range. Let's check the range on Ace of Spades. What did I say before? 28 meters? Mia? Yeah. For which? For the spare rations? For before my range drops off? I think it was, yeah. Okay, so let's track Ace again. Ooh, range drop off. Okay. Ace Ace max damage is, is 70. There's a 67. Three steps. There's a 70. Let's check that out. I'm gonna guess that was uh 27 meters? 28 meters. Okay, so 28 meters. But I mean, like, this is pretty close compared to before. 
I'm hitting 70s from 28 meters away, max damage. And like, if you just keep going backwards, like, it's gonna just keep drastically decreasing, of course. So, hand cannon's got a pretty substantial hit. Let's check out the Duke. I have a max range Duke. That's not the one. That eh, kind of max range. Ricochet got nerfed. Oh my god, which Duke is it? Ricochet got nerfed, so it's not a, not as the ideal anymore, but I got Sure Shot, Range Finder. I think High Cal adds a little bit of range. I mean, it says it does. And I got Range Masterwork. So let's see how 110s are. Let's put on Darcy. I think I have it on. I don't. Let's go to uh, 150, 140 RPM drop off on the Ace. 91 still. Okay. Go 30 meters. 91. Go 33 meters. 83. Okay. 6. 31 meters. Eight thirty meters ninety one. So the range the acts the maximum range on a duke before you start seeing drop off is thirty meters. So this duke has about two more meters on a spare on my max max range spare ration. This is max the max. I don't know how it would compare to a, like maybe an average roll. Let's see. Here's an average roll spare rations. This gun crit for 55. So that's going to take four shots to kill. So Duke's definitely going to be able to compete. Duke will be able to compete at max range now. I think 110s are going to be able, I think 110s are going to shine because let's see. Oh, 35 meters. Let's see if I can 3-tap from this far. Definitely. Alright. So I was creating for 75 from that far away. And... Here's 35 meters. 76. That's still gonna 3-tap. 37. Sixty-eight. That should 3-tap. Wow. 40 meters. 58, not gonna 3 tap. 39. Oh, 39 meters, that's real close. 38 and a half. 38 and a half. What's, what's your resilience, Mia? Three. Three resil? Let's see. Okay, that's pretty low, so. That's pretty low, so what, what did I say? 38 and a half, so I think about 37, 37 meters, this duke is gonna 3-tap. Go ahead and go back on the wall, let's test it again. Thirty-seven meters. Sixty-eight. So thirty-seven meters, sixty-eight will three tap for sure. So at thirty-seven meters, Duke's critting for sixty-eight, which is a three tap. My max range spare rations at the same range, 48. So a max range spare rations is going to take four shots to kill, whereas the Duke will still take three headshots at this range. So the Duke, I think 110s are going to definitely be pretty uh, competitive because you actually have range on this now. Like you can actually compete with these other... You can compete with these other 140s and 150s now because you can outrange them. Even even before with them, the Dukes, that's how it was. You can outrange a 140, 150 with the Duke. But, you know, they had such more, they had such, uh, 140s and 150s had such long range before that it was, there was less situations where you actually had the opportunity to outgun them just through range. But since the range is reduced on those 140s and 150s, there is now more opportunities to outgun them with a 110. Now, the Loud Lullaby, I don't have it on me right now, but and I don't have it nearly as good as a roll as my Duke is out, and that's a new 110 hand cannon, and it will be pretty popular, so... 
That's a pretty, it's a pretty substantial range drop. Now, the, uh, the range was nerfed on hand cannons. Hand cannons were, they did have quite a bit of range. I don't think they necessarily needed as big as a range nerf as they got. And I've seen a lot more complaints about the range nerf than I have seen praising. Um, they did buff pulses. I don't necessarily think pulses needed a buff. I think they could have left pulses alone. Lowered the range on hand cannons a little bit. Buffed ARs the way they did and the meta would be, it'd be pretty even. You'd see equal, probably, probably an equal amount of hand cannons and scouts and ARs. Or pulses too. But now it's pretty dominated by pulses. And hand cannons are still good, but you have to definitely manipulate the map, work the map a little better to get closer. Now they did change the hand cannon animation. Before, you could kind of shoot without even seeing your red dot reticule. Like you can still actually aim and see your red dot reticule. Before, you, you couldn't, there was no red dot reticule. So you couldn't really, you didn't really have anything to aim, but it wasn't that big of a deal. So they changed the animation slightly, and I and I assume they just made your 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 kick your recovery from the gun kicking up just a little faster, a little snappier. But they did change the animation, and I could have lived without it, but that, I think that was for console to make the hand cannons actually work on console more so. Hand cannons worked fine on PC, but I think that's about it. Mia, you want to add anything? How do you feel about the whole hand cannon change? Um, I'm not. I'm never bothered by a lot of these things, so I, I still comfortably use Ace, but the whole pulse thing can I say to other guns, but I don't get too bothered by it, that's my personal opinion, but I'm, I didn't, honestly I didn't notice too too much, I was just more upset about switching to Steam, <laughs> to even notice about the gun yeah. changes. <laughs> And she loves bad juju. She has a thing tattooed on her leg, like yeah. a freaking so full-size like, version. I like bad juju, and I like Ace, and I still think Ace still kind of. But how do you think of Ace compared to before? You can notice that there's drop off. Yeah, there's a pretty there's a pretty substantial range drop yeah. off. I'm not. I don't. I, I'm not the person to ask for the opinion. <laughs> they wanted people want to hear your opinion. No one wants to hear my opinion. I didn't know I just floated without holding space bar. A, How are you just floating? How am I just floating? Is that I, always a thing? I don't know! What? Don't, don't touch anything. I didn't know that was a thing. Has that always been like that? I don't know! Did we just discover something? Alright, well... I think that's it. I think we covered it. That was a weird way to end it. Floating Mia. Um, yeah. Hand cannon's got a pretty substantial range nerf. Um, like I said, I, th I feel like more people have been complaining about it, so. Let me know in the comments down below. Except for Mia, apparently. But let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the hand cannons, how you feel about kind of the current meta. Like, what are you using? Are you using hand cannons still, or did you switch to pulses? So, like I said, let me know. That's it from us, Guardians. As always. Stay thick or stay cute? Stay thick. Stay cute, Guardians. Mm -hmm.